I was teaching some young men the other day and I was teaching them about the power of a thought. The power of a thought. What is a corporation literally? It's a thought. It's a thought. It's an idea. It's a conviction. It's a premise. I, I think that that's it. It's the power of the idea. Klaus, you didn't wake, wake up one morning and say, I want to be rich and powerful. You said, I have an idea called the World Economic Forum. When I see you today, you're as excited today about the idea as you were when you started it. You know, Bill Gates didn't wake up and say, I want to be rich and powerful. It's Steve Jobs, I'm rich and powerful. Branson of Virgin, rich and powerful. He said, I got an idea. I got an idea. The Archbishop said, I have an idea. Oprah Winfrey said, I have an idea. It all happened within the last 300 years. It was ideas bursting at the seams. Ideas and concepts creating fabrics and concepts that maybe if we take this seed and this seed, we can pr produce a hybrid, and here comes the peanut, and here comes the phone, and here comes electricity, and here comes all of this stuff born out of fertile minds. Are you following what I'm saying? And when ideas stop, economy stops, creativity stops, buildings, corporations all stop because everything happens that's important to you between this year and this year. You are one thought away from a great reformation in your life. One thought away from being a millionaire. One thought from overcoming. One thought from starting a ministry. One thought from building a business. One thought for the cure for AIDS is one thought away. The cure for cancer is one thought away. You serve the Lord with your mind. You serve humanity with your mind. If you sow into the kingdom, you're not asking God to give you money. What is money? money give me a thought give me an idea give me a strategy give me a plan you are one thought away from the greatest experience you have ever had in your life i want to represent an idea i want to represent possibilities i want to represent the idea that you really can make what you want one of my favorite books is the the alchemist mm -hmm. uh paulo coelho and that's just i just believe that I, I believe that i can create whatever i want to create manpower was a thought megafest was a thought the potter's house was a thought everything starts in the thoughts you think you are no better than the thoughts you think if you think little you go little if you think weak you go weak if you think up you go up one thought our thoughts our feelings our dreams our ideas are physical in the universe i pray with the thoughts you think the plans you have thoughts become reality that if we dream something, if we picture something, if we commit ourselves to it, that that is a physical thrust towards realization that we can put into the universe. Do you have the courage to think? Because if you can think, you can change. You can move, you can evolve, you can grow, you can become. You are one idea away. Your credit is not a problem, your house is not a problem, your car is not a problem, your situation is not a problem, your thoughts are the problem. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. That the universe is not a thing that's going to push us around. That the world and, and people and situations are not something that's going to push us around. That we are going to bend the universe and command and demand that the universe become what we want it to be. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? She just said, uh, he who says he can and he who says he can't are both usually right. Because if you think wrong, you go wrong. If you think down, you go down. If you think you can't get up, you can't get up. If you think you can't be free, you can't be free. If you think you can't learn anymore, you'll never be able to learn. Your thoughts are either dragging you down or taking you up. We gotta get back to the power of the idea. And the idea is that we are great. And everybody can be great because everybody can serve. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.